mycoviruses and baculoviruses now we will see uh, what are all the general characters and the diseases which are uh, caused by mycoviruses and as well as uh, baculoviruses and my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anomaly university so we'll start with uh, mycoviruses myco means fungi virus means viruses so mycoviruses are the viruses which are also known as mycophages phages as i told you bacterial phages means bacterial eaters so mycophages means fungal eaters which means the mycoviruses are the viruses which infect fungi mycoviruses are the viruses which infect fungi it was first reported by hollings first reported by hollings so mycoviruses are the group of viruses which infect fungi so majority of the mycoviruses uh, whose genome is made up of double stranded rna genome is made up of double stranded rna almost 75% of the mycoviruses genome is made up of double stranded rna and few also found uh, uh, of a few of the mycoviruses also found to be positive single stranded rna that is almost 30% of the mycoviruses let us consider if 100% of the out of 100% of the mycoviruses so almost 70 percent of the mycoviruses whose whose genome is made up of double stranded rna uh, um, whose genome is consist of double stranded rna as well as the remaining 30 percent uh, uh, whose genome is made up of positive single stranded rna but so far no mycoviruses has been reported that contains double stranded dna as genetic material double stranded dna as genetic material so mostly mycoviruses are transmitted from one fungi to another fungi uh, you know uh, uh, you know it is uh, infectious i can't say it is an infectious disease so they are transmitted from one fungus to another fungus without being released as a free particles into the external environment let's consider so the fungi can be you know uh, uh, can be uh, transmitted or disseminated through the spores so in the meantime along with uh, uh, this uh, transmission of the fungi from one place to another place the viruses also can transmit uh, uh, along with this uh, uh, you know fungal transmissions so so study of this uh, mycophages is called mycovirology mycovirology uh, which means study of mycoviruses so again i am telling mycoviruses are the viruses which infect fungi is called mycoviruses which is also known as mycophages which was first reported by hollings so uh, majority of the mycoviruses genome is made up of double stranded rna that is 70 percent of the uh, my, my mycoviruses are whose genome is made up of double stranded rna and 30 percent uh, whose genome is consist of sing positive single stranded rna but no mycovirus has been reported so far that contains double stranded dna as a genetic material so study of mycovirus is called mycovirology and then uh, the economic importance of mycovirus was first reported in the cultivated mushroom that is uh, you know uh, uh, white button mushroom that is agaricus bisporus and it also calls it a European mushroom or temperate mushroom, Agaricus bisporus. So, first recorded in the cultivated mushroom, Agaricus bisporus. So, the disease which causes uh, 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 in Agaricus bisporus are the first reported disease, La France disease. The disease name is La France disease. La France disease is the first mycovirus disease that is reported in the cultivated fungi, that is Agaricus bisporus. It is also known as X disease or watery stripe disease or dieback disease or brown disease. It's a very very important. The, uh, this type of questions only can be asked in you know uh, uh, in national eligibility test. So what is the first reported uh, uh, mycoviral disease in a cultivated mushroom? That is uh, a La France disease. That is Agaricus bisporus, white white button mushroom. So this disease is called La France disease, also known as X disease or water stripe disease or dieback or brown disease. These are all the different names of La France disease. So you know uh, this mycovirus has been reported that reducing of yields in uh, cultivated mushrooms and the pathogen uh, you know which are pathogenic to the parasitic fungi so here are the most of the fungal viruses that are most of the mycoviruses are icosahedral icosahedral in shape icosahedral means like this This is the icosahedral. The most of the fungal viruses are icosahedral, and uh, their uh, you know, size ranges from 25 to 45 nanometer in diameter. So, mycoviruses are which are common in fungi that found in almost all pila, you know, including uh, Cytidiomycota, Zygomycota, Ascomycota, Basidiomycota. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, these viruses uh, can not infect all this uh, group of fungi. So, now we'll see uh, we have, uh, some characters of uh, mycoviruses. 
most of the mycoviruses lack extracellular root for infection they don't have any extracellular root or extracellular uh, uh, root for the infection of uh, uh, this fungi so mycoviruses are transmitted internally only through cell division through cell division the mycoviruses are transmitted from one you know uh, fungi to fungi and then during spore relation you know or during the fungi produce uh, uh, spores as you know uh, 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 propagating material what we what when we called as uh, seed materials so through seed materials also or uh, through spores also the uh, this mycoviruses can uh, uh, transmit or spread or uh, along with the cell division sorry uh, cell fusion so this mycoviruses are transmitted intercellularly by cell division sporulation and cell fusion and then mycoviruses are apparently lack movement protein so almost plant viruses produce movement protein for the transmission or the for uh, immediate movement in between uh, plasmodesmata so actually as i told you that uh, plasmodesmata is smaller than plant virus so if you want to move through uh, plasmodesmata the plant virus produce a protein called movement protein uh, which mediates the movement in uh, plasmodesmata so uh, this mycoviruses contains no movement protein so that it can't able to transmit from cell to cell uh, uh, by by means of you know on normal uh, uh, spread as a like of, as like of other uh, viruses so uh, as as like of other viruses so due to the lack of movement protein which is essential for the life cycle of uh, animals and plant viruses it can't able to transmit or it can't able to go for one cell to another cell so it can mainly need or it can mainly transmitted by cell division sporulation and cell fusion the next one is baculoviruses so oh, baculoviridae is a family of viruses that can only infect insects that can only ins infect insects remember mycoviruses are the virus that infect fungi whereas baculoviruses are the viruses that infect insects that infect insects so they mainly infect the insects that belonging to the order arthropods lepidoptera hymenoptera and diptera uh, which normally served as a natural host which normally served as a natural host there are so far there are 84 species are uh, uh, known to be as uh, baculoviruses uh, so far 84 uh, known species are uh, there in this family so remember mycoviruses are the viruses which infect fungi that's why called as a mycophages or mycoviruses virus which infect fungi is called mycoviruses whereas baculoviruses are the virus which infect insects which infect insect is called baculoviruses which infect insects is called baculoviruses so uh, this you know uh, genome is made up of this baculovirus genome is made up of double stranded dna remember double stranded dna double stranded dna whereas mycoviruses genome is made up of double stranded rna that to 70 percent 5 percent 70 percent of the mycoviruses genome is made up of double stranded rna whereas 30 percent of the mycoviruses genome is made up of positive single stranded rna uh, that we have to uh, differentiate like this so uh, whose baculovirus genome is composed of a double stranded rna that codes for genes needed for the virus establishment and reproduction so this double stranded rna can codes for the genes which can be essential for the virus establishment as well as virus reproduction or virus multiplication so the majority of the bac baculoviruses which are used as a biocontrol agents uh, uh, biocontrol agents especially uh, the genus which is belonging to the nucleopolyhydrovirus this is the genus which are comes under uh, baculoviruses so these baculoviruses are mainly uh, act as a uh, biocontrol agents so uh, the one of the genus that comes under baculoviruses are nucleo uh, sorry nucleopolyhydrovirus so uh, this uh, uh, virus can act as a bicontrol agent against the uh, many insects and as well as a plant pathogens too i think so so now we, we have seen some uh, uh, you know uh, 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 general characters what are uh, uh, that baculoviruses process so before that we will see one more thing that uh, here one more thing that we have to uh, make sure of no negative impact on plants mammals and birds and fishes have been shown due to baculoviruses so due to baculoviruses uh, which can we can exploit baculoviruses as a uh, you know biocontrol agents uh, due to the use of baculoviruses there is no negative impact to the plants animals as well as birds even non-target insects even non-target infects it only affect or it only act on target insects so it has a no negative impact on plants mammals birds fishes and as well as non-target insects so due to this uh, you know a huge amount 
of uh, beneficial effect this bacterial viruses are commercially exploited in integrated plant disease management so uh, the united states department of agriculture uh, forest service here we can see the usda that is united states department agriculture forest service currently using gypsy moth why they are using uh, gypsy moth nuclear polyhydrosis virus so they are aerially spraying for thousands of acres of forest each year so this gypsy moth the usda department they are using gypsy moth to use it to spray aerial spraying on thousands of acres of forests why we are they are spraying now we will see this product can be registered as gyp check gyp check which is effective against gypsy moth which is effective against gypsy moth so to uh, to uh, uh, to manage or to effective uh, management of uh, uh, gypsy moth on forest plants they are spraying uh, uh, gypsy moth nuclear polyhydrosis virus on uh, uh, forests of every year now we will see uh, what are the commercial uses of uh, bacterial viruses that are exploiting as a biological insecticide now we are seeing here uh, now we will see commodity insect pest virus used and virus product used so uh, for commodity apples pears walnut and plum uh, which is codling moth is a very serious problem for controlling the codling moth on apple pear and walnut they are using codling moth granulosis virus which contains the active ingredient of cydxe so these are all the different types of uh, crops and insect serious insect pest problems and uh, virus used to control this uh, serious pest problems and then uh, uh, these are the virus products so, you know for controlling of cabbage tomatoes uh, you know cabbage moth aerial uh, american bollworm cabbage army one nuclear polyhydrosis are uh, commercially exploited on cabbages so the active ingredient or virus product which are used is uh, uh, mamestrin so and then cotton so, so uh, some of the uh, products has been given here so here one more thing here we can see here we can see star star indicates these products are not registered sorry these products are not produced or registered in the us at present time in the sense so star indicates this product are not registered on united states of america at present time so these are the uh, uh, different types of crops and a serious pest problems and what are all the uh, virus strains are used or active ingredient are used to control against uh, 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 Okay, there's different types of uh, insect problems. So, uh, these all virus strains are commercially as a baculoviruses. So, uh, baculoviruses, which are as a biological insecticide, then we so the coming uh, applications of uh, baculoviruses now we'll see the baculoviruses expression in insects represents a robust method for producing the recombinant glycoproteins or the membrane proteins in the sense so they produce a glycoproteins or a membrane proteins which is a very efficient method for the controlling of insect pests so this, due to the production of these glycoproteins or membrane proteins it is a very natural so that we can uh, you know uh, the time uh, so not time uh, we can uh, save money as well as the you know application of different types of pesticides so moreover uh, application of this uh, baculoviruses as a bicontrol agents or biological agents we can save money as well as you know which is uh, environmentally uh, feasible and uh, no pollution and you know and the most uh, uh, recommended method for the control of for not only insect but also for all uh, you know fungal and other diseases too so this baculoviruses produced proteins are currently under the study of therapeutic cancer vaccines which are several immunoglobic advantages over proteins derived from the mammalian sources so this baculoviruses producing proteins have uh, now currently in a investigation so that what their investigations whether this uh, baculoviruses proteins which are isolated from the baculoviruses uh, whether they can be used as a, a cancer against mammalians they are now uh, it is an under investigation whether this baculoviruses proteins can be uh, therapeutic uh, properties on cancer or not that they are in under uh, process or you know under uh, lab conditions so coming to the biosafety of uh, baculoviruses so the thing is baculoviruses are incapable incapable of replicating within the cells of mammals and plants so this baculoviruses as i told you biocontrol agents in the sense are biologically living agents so so uh, the we don't need to worry about of baculoviruses which are unable to replicate within the cells of mammals and as well as plant so moreover they have a restricted range of host and they can infect typically are restricted to the limited number of closely related insects they only uh, affect on a target 
they only infect affect on target so target orientation so they uh, it, uh, don't have as uh, as we discussed earlier you don't have any side effects or negative effects on uh, on non targeted species so that is definitely biologically viable and uh, biosafety uh, it has a biosafety measure i mean uh, uh, biologically safe uh, uh, for using against or uh, exploiting against a uh, uh, by control agent against insects so because of baculoviruses are not harmful to humans they are considered as safe option for the use of research applications as i told you they have a no negative effect on humans mammals fishes and non target insects due to this it has a no issue on application of uh, application as a biocontrol agent on uh, viral diseases so Uh, they are also used as a biocontrol agents in the case of uh, indian meal moth and you know a grain feeding pest this indian meal moth is a grain feeding pest uh, on india so this baculovirus is also commercial exploiting and control of this indian meal moth which is a gram uh, sorry grain feeding pest so these are all the different uh, uh, you know uh, uh, characters and uses of uh, uh mycoviruses as well as baculo baculoviruses the main difference between mycoviruses and baculoviruses are mycoviruses which infect fungi whereas baculoviruses are the virus which infect insects so mycoviruses genome is made up of a double stranded uh, uh, rna that is 70% of the mycoviruses and remaining 30% is uh, positive single stranded rna whereas baculoviruses genome is composed of a double stranded dna so on the different types of general characters has been uh, mentioned